Hey everybody, it's Monday, August 17th. I just cut Hank loose in here on the river. Um, thought I might take a second while I'm waiting on him to open up to talk to you about English days this weekend um, in Flora, Illinois, at the Charlie Brown Park there in Flora, Illinois. Um, great place to hunt, great group of guys. Really looking forward to getting down there. Um, so if you ain't got nothing coming on, there's going to be a lot of great activities. Um, on Wednesday night, they're going to have a slam hunt 8 p.m deadline 35 dollar entry one hour hunt um on thursday is pretty much their all english stuff got going on um so for all definitely for all you uh english folks out there come out uh water race spin show night hunts all their invitational stuff um even a youth hunt so a lot of stuff going on that day um on Friday, got a lot of stuff going down. They have a uh, bench show at noon, $30 entry. Their night hunt will be at 7 p.m., $35 entry, two hour. And then on Saturday, same stuff, uh, bench show, noon, $30 entry. Uh, there is a youth bench show Saturday. There is a water race Saturday, 4 p.m., $15. And there is a night hunt Saturday night, 7 p.m., $35 entry fee, two-hour hunt. So it's going to be a good time. I hope to see some of you guys there. Come see me at the table if you come. Y'all, I was back there jabber jawing. I didn't realize Hank was had opened up behind us back here. Sounds like he's got a pretty good track going. River's pretty loud, so I don't know if... You guys will be able to hear him, but yeah, if you hang tight, I will let you know what happens. It doesn't sound great, um, but it just keeps locating at that same spot, so let's go uh, down here and see what he's, what he's got going on. Well, he swam the river to get on the island, so <laughs> once again, I'm going to have my work cut out for me here. Um, Boy, he did a good job on this track. Maybe I'll show that to you real quick. Just plum tickled the way he worked this thing. Just, man, hard tracks from the river. He may even be on an island, but I'm hoping I got lucky. So stay tuned. There's code number one. There's cone number two right there. And cone number three. One, two, and three is over. It's over there somewhere. So. Old boy's got a triple. Well, that's a wrap for tonight. Man, that was a, <laughs> that was a one of a kind hunt. A lot of a lot of tough dog work on Hank man I couldn't be more proud of him he just just turned 15 months old here in the past couple of days um, he hunted out good got struck uh, around the pond on this side of the of the river ended up taking it down uh, a good ridge there's a good ridge in there uh, that flows right down the river and I couldn't tell by the map if he was on this side or that side and when I got down there he definitely wasn't on the side that I was on, so I just had to climb right back up, walk out to the road and cross over the bridge, go down to the other side, 
and I'll be dang if he wasn't on that side either. He was in a little uh, a little island right in the middle with a triple. Uh, might have been three young ones. I don't know. I saw another coon sitting off to the side, so that might have been a mom and, uh, and some kitten coons. This year's kitten coons can't tell you for sure. Um, but boy, he just did a heck of a job. And you know the. I don't know. I, I got a picture. I got a video of the coons. I don't think I even got one of them on the tree because it was just so thick there. I couldn't even get him. I couldn't get to the tree. I would have had to swim. Um, I was ready to, to strip down and swim across of it, but I just thought, let's check and see what kind of handle I got on him. And ah, this thing, dog, actually uh, swam across that about 15, 15 yard wide little uh, little channel there and swam to me. And I, man, I just couldn't be more proud of him. He's just sharp as a tack. Um, he has his faults, but man, he suits me well, and I sure liking him so far. Reminds me a lot of his dad and the stuff I do. And boy, I was two of my favorite dogs I've ever had in my lifetime, and uh, just don't see I don't see how I'd ever get rid of him. I sure enjoy everything about him at this point. So um, uh, it took forever. <laughs> it took me after he finally got treated. It took me a very long time to get to him because I had to go down a ridge up a ridge go out to the main road go over the bridge go down to him and then it did i'm not gonna lie it took me a minute to get him to cross over to me but he finally did so i'm, I'm just tickled heading home tonight um full tank of gas darren and uh nah, thanks for watching guys and like i said english days florida illinois can't beat the hunting can't beat the folks there hope to see you there thanks for watching